my first find of the day and it looks to be a button with an anchor on it which is a brilliant first find it's in weird although it's crusty it's in quite good condition i can see what it says so it makes well what, that what it's got on it so it makes me think it might clean up quite nicely it's even got a shank but they quite often come off but it's got an anchor on it how brilliant what an excellent first find Let's see what else there is is that another button or is it oh i think it's got um a glass paste gem in it. It's metal, um, it's got a shank, and I think it's got a glass paste gem inside. Let's have a look. Yep, I'd say it does. Wow, okay. Brilliant, another good find. This could be a good day. That's a shame. I think that would have been the end of a very cool pipe. It's like hairy. But no. Another bone toothbrush. Don't think there's anything written on it. Still lovely patina. That might be something. Looks like it might have marks on it. Definitely try and clean that up and see. Is that hole? Oh, it is. There's a cutie. Do we need it? Not sure, but it is small, so I'm going to take it and see. I think that's just a knob, but the way it's painted and the way it's broken, it looks like a beautiful blue or green mushroom. That is so perfectly a little mushroom, and I'm just going to have it as a display item. That's amazing. The crazing's lovely too. I think I may have found my first bead of the day. Let's hope there's many more. This one is a beautiful green clear glass one. That is a lovely bead. Love a green bead. So again, a really promising start. Button. At least unfortunately I don't think it has any writing on it. I wonder if that lid has anything interesting on it. Well, doesn't look like it, but it's pretty and it's lead, so I won't leave it here. Okay, I can see a couple of things here. First of all, probably the most noticeable, big beautiful mother-in-law, mother-in-law, mother of pearl um, button. And then I think that's a tiny bead. Oh no, it's something from electric. I think it might be ceramic. Great for a craft though. And then there are some other interesting poking things. So I see something poking here. It's just a piece of metal I think. There's a couple of other bits poking about. Okay so I have already picked this up because I thought it was modern rubbish but actually it's lead and it's blue. Oh goodness, it's got writing on it. But I'm not going to unfold it here because um, I could break it. So we might cut away to that. That could be something exciting. It's probably off the top of um, like an alcohol bottle, but it's blue, which we don't get often with white writing. It's beautiful. Thing under it. Nothing. Another lid with something written on it. Uh, Barbasol. Barbasol. Hmm, can look that up. This looks quite good in that patch here. Let's see if we got here. Some wire. Piece of lead. Piece of lead. Mm, something on it. Decorative, I think. What else is here? Coins. 
that's a nice thing. I don't know what that was like a hook, maybe? That's really nice, is it? It's a round thing and a little tiny metal twist. What else is here? A tiny clasp and a tiny little round thing that I'm sure is going to be very useful for the doll's house. And a little yellow bead. Oh, oh it's broken. Still pretty though, lemon coloured. Nice. There's a tiny, tiny blue faceted bead. It's minuscule. Didn't even know if it was a bead or not to start with, but it is. Okay, there's a couple of exciting looking bits here. First of all, I think I see a bead, although it might be a hat pin at the end of a pin. No, it is a bead, it's beautiful. It's swirled, it's white, it's very small. Wow, okay, second bead of the day. There is what I think is a wheel. Yep, always great. We've got. I'm look, waiting to get four wheels to make something, or maybe a bike. And you need to. It's half a button. Beautiful, might be good. Is that a tiny bead? No. There's some. Oh, are you a let, lead lid? Yep, yeah, looks like it might have some letters on it. And it looks like it could be something, or it might not be. Oh, it's another top with a lid. Looks like it might have writing on it though, which is exciting. Um, that looks metal and round. Oh, I think it's a seal. Does it have anything on it? Oh, I think it might do. Lead seal. Always great. Look at this. I think it's the handle off a trunk. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, oh, I really like that. It might be too heavy for me to carry, but I might take it further up the beach so it's protected by the next tide because that's a really cool thing. I think someone should have that. I think it's a bit too heavy for me. Again, looks like there's something metal and round there. Oh, I'd say that's a button. See the holes in the back. Wow, some good metal finds today. A letter box. Forever open now, though. <laughs> Paint pan. <laughs> it is. It's a Reeves one. Kate started using these. Actually putting watercolours in them that she's made. Okay, I think I've just spotted two what could be potentially very exciting finds. Well, one of them I know is a... Although now I can't see it. Oh yes I can. Okay, first of all, there's this. It's green. Look at that beautiful green perfume stopper. It's beautiful. I don't have one like it. I absolutely love it. It is such a bright green. <gasps> okay. Um, and then as I spotted that, I think I may, I mean, that's such an amazing find, but I think I may see something that could be, as exciting. Oh, there's a couple of things here, actually. But what I'm looking for, but what I'm looking at is that. What do we suppose that is? Oh, it's complete. Oh, and it's beautifully decorated. Oh, my word. Let me zoom in for you. That is a stud. I, I, me and Mum have both each found a gold one of these. This doesn't look like it's made of gold. It could be silver, but look at the decoration and it's a complete stud. Wow, that is so beautiful. I can't quite, the zoom's not working quite well enough. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. I'll have to show you some close-ups. And it's complete. <gasps> might have been gold plated or something maybe that's what that is oh. wow oh my goodness okay i need to show mum look at those two finds 
but actually underneath you see this beautiful piece of decorated lead oops sorry oh, I'm just gonna look in this bit for a little bit longer just in case there's something else amazing it says she's found two good things Let's see what she's got It's green! <laughs> and then... Oh, what's that? It's one of those studs, like the gold one. <gasps> oh, look at the decoration on I top. can't see it without my glasses on. I'll put my glasses on. <laughs> but could you hold my tiny bead? <laughs> yeah, I said that you were using yes. them now. I'll put my glasses on. Yes, please. Got a specific bead section. Oh, yeah. I've got another one in my pocket, a yellow one. Oh. Where is it? <laughs> See, I can feel it. Yeah. Oh, wow! It's broken though. Oh, so it's still as usable as bead. Wow, that's almost too big for my bead section. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's that it. round thing? Oh, it's got blowing in the wind. Nothing. <laughs> Found a button with an anchor on. Um, that's a metal button with a glass paste gem inside. This is like one of those lead ones, but it's blue and white. Oh! I thought it was modern, but it's not. Ooh, it does look like that other one, doesn't it? Yeah. That might be pewter, you know. I didn't know what it was made out of. It's, isn't it beautiful, though? It could be pewter. I don't think it's pewter. Oh, pewter. Yeah. Isn't the decoration lovely, though? Yeah. Isn't it? And it's complete. Yeah, in a good, good condition. Now. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'll have to go in my special section. Unfortunately, my um, bottle stop is too big for my <laughs> that bottle hole. Looks like something I haven't seen before. Oh, yeah. Galloway's. We found this before. Chemist bottle. That's nice, though. I might be... I'll leave it here somewhere. I'll put it back in a... D it's safe. That piece of glass is com completely square. I don't think that's an accident. <laughs> Good for the doll's house. A potential candidate for shared stories. Terracotta bead. That's a nice colour. Oh, I like that. My piece of square glass. I've come closer to Kate because I figured she's finding things and I'm not really finding things. And I just found something. I mean, it's it's all right. I mean, it's quite pretty. It's under here. It's hiding. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> huh. Wow. And it's it's complete. complete. Oh, it's beautiful. That is, that's stunning. It's a decanter, yeah? Yeah, I reckon so. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful stuff. We've never found any quite like that. Oh. So I just picked this up and figured out that I think it's um, an arm, like a body or a shoulder of a lead figurine. And then, always an exciting sight, but I don't think we need to play the game of if it has a head or not. Still has the weapon though, just no head and some paint, which is incredible. But no head, but we do have heads, we've started randomly luckily finding heads of these sometimes so we might have a head that fits that fella might even be his head because we found some heads here in the past really tiny but I think that is a tiny little glass paste gem and yes yes it is it's tiny probably from some jewelry nice okay again potentially exciting things so maybe start with this one. Is that a lead soldier's head just after I was talking about it? No, it's not a head, but it looks like it's something. It had red paint on it. It's a little sh shape. And then that looks 
very exciting. It could be nothing or it could be something really cool. Oh, I think it was. Oh. Yeah, it's the back of a, it's a, it's a little squatting figure, of course, missing its head. Wow, look at the detail of that though. Is it wearing a kilt? I think he's wearing a kilt. Scottish. Uh, yeah, Scottish, Scots guard or something like that. I did drop the tiny little shape, but luckily it landed on my dungarees. Wow, a couple of headless fellas today. At last, I was starting to think Lead Beach wasn't Lead Beach anymore for me, but there he is, and he is. I think he's complete. I think he would stand up. He's got his little base bit, he's got his head, he's like bent down. Oh wow! Let me see if he stands. Oh, I think he would with a with a bit of jiggling. Oh, hello. You are a bit violent with your gun, but hey. He's kneeling down. I don't think that might be not a gun. I think he's got a bomb. Or some sort of, I don't know, I'll just bring him to you. Here. Wow! Has, oh. he, has he got like a bomb? It's like a it's, rifle. Wow. Oh, it's a rifle. It's a rifle. <laughs> I don't know, he seems very fat. He's really crude. Yeah, I think he's pretty old. I think he's a very old soldier. Yeah. yeah. He's really crude. He's still got paint. I like he's him. He's lovely. He's a really nice lead soldier. He's really unusual. Oh. It's unusual, he's complete too. <laughs> some in it. Some... I can't see what it says. Oh, it does? Yeah. Are interesting? Yeah. Clean up and things to clean up. Nice. Let's keep looking. I've pulled this out because I thought it was a pretty long time to use, but look, it's attached to a metal. Oh! So it's like a I could, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's beautiful. I, really I just thought it was going to be a knob that I could use for something. Yeah. But no, that's it's gilded, a yeah. We yeah. can clean that up. Yeah. It's probably really decorative. Yeah, it's got a really unusual shape. Yeah, it must have been a. That's really nice. An album or something? Or maybe not because it's ceramic. But I don't know. Yeah, I really like that. I, was, I didn't film it because I thought it was just going to take long to see if it was complete. Wow, I'll have to show you what the... I, I, yeah, I was wondering why it wasn't coming out. <laughs> I mean, I can't... I've only got this. You, know, you want me to take it? Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> Does that look like that is a coin? Yes. That is definitely a coin. I wonder if we'll be able to clean it. Well, I say definitely, but most likely a coin. <laughs> to stay... Check out the roundup, see if it's a coin. Actually, under that, what is that? Is that a marble? I, I am. That, that's got to be a marble, hasn't it? It's almost pale yellow. It's got some bubbles inside. I can't tell if it's a marble or not, though. Hmm. I love it. Seems slightly. Misshapen. Hmm. I think there is a find that I've only found one of these before. Um, one metal one. I found a wooden one. It is. It's a pencil sharpener. A bit broken. But I do love. It's weird. I'd never really thought about finding them, and then I always wondered why we didn't find more. Because I imagine probably there's a lot of them out there. And there's another one. <laughs> Does that look like it's going to be a button hiding under there? Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not, but take it just in case. Is that a tiny flat bead? Or is it just a blob of glass? Might just be a blob of glass. Good for a craft. A lid. Does it have anything on it? Oh, <laughs> it's got a star on it. That's cute. Never found one of those before. Okay, three things here. First of all, oh no, 
it may be two things. That's half a bead, and I'm gonna make it, oh, maybe it's not. Oh no, <laughs> two and a half things. Beautiful white bead, half a bead, and then that, look, is that gonna be a paste gem? Or is it gonna be a bead? I think it's just like a cabochon, actually. But that's nice, I'll go in my little bead pot that. Uh, Kate's pointed it out. Are you going to turn it over or do you want me to turn it over? Look, the back of a watch. Pocket like watch. A pocket watch. Be a nice frame although. Yeah, it would be great. Anything else? Oh, thank you. My hands are much warmer now. You're welcome. What's that? Oh, it's got writing on it. What is that? There's writing on it. It's got writing on it. Oh, my goodness, that does. Writing all along the end. <laughs> and it's back to front. <gasps> is it proper yes. time? Oh, my goodness, no way of the last week. What is it? Okay, Please be a. It took me that long to realise, but it was the S. Yeah. A company word. or something. Word, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's so weird. The buckle is fine. It's actually complete. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. goodness. I thought it was, yeah. but then it was a bit odd because it. But I think yeah, because yeah. it's so big, I suppose. Yeah. <gasps> that's so weird. That's that is so weird. That's amazing. Wow. I know okay. we just both went silent and looked at this. <laughs> I wonder what it says. Cool. I'm on zoomed in. You've taken me by surprise. What? I mean, it's a repeat, but what did I say? What, what the, the other half of a glass chart. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it looks to be complete. Oh! Where? Oh! <gasps> I know. <gasps> but another one of them! It was. Oh my goodness, that's so weird! Is it going to have its head? That, I'm really zoomed in again, oh. by the way. I was zoomed in for the cat. Is it going to have a head? No! No! Sorry, that was a bit loud. <laughs> oh. Oh, no! Oh. The universe is trying to tell you something. I think it is. I might try and... Make a face, face, yeah. That. That's. Oh, hit me. <laughs> I can't believe, but this is the world trying to tell me. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's gonna happen now. It's going to have to. That's so weird. The fact that it's the broken typeset, and then I found a complete typeset, and then you're, you're getting bigger. Okay, you're getting so, more. Yeah. yeah. It's, now it's just everything. I said <sighs> I'd be happy with the top half, and now it's absolutely everything. But, but the so face. Easy. Oh. oh, but still, I'm still oh, yeah, no, very yeah, happy with yeah, that. Yeah, that is so I'm weird. Give it a new face. It yeah. Everything but it. But it. But it. <laughs> I can't believe that, though. I did not think I would find one here. Oh. I can't believe it doesn't have a face. It doesn't have a face. Oh, but it's not as sad as the last no. one. No. <laughs> At least it's... Yeah, I'm going to take that as finding a glass jar. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's, well, life is weird. I'm take that as a win. Okay. <laughs> That's a beauty. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful bead. Giant white one. Lovely. What's that round thing? Is it a coin? Ooh, I think it might be. That's kind of this beach. It looks a bit eroded, but we'll soak it and see. It's a bit windy. I hope this is okay, sound-wise. <laughs> What's that? Oh, <laughs> it's the back of a man in a kilt again. <laughs> oh, lead army. that. 
Oh, 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 that is definitely a diamond shape. What's that over there? <laughs> what over here? Oh, bit of a, oh, wow, look at that, the colours in that. Anyway, back to this. Oh, that must be a badge. That must be a badge. Must be. Oh, that's a intriguing thing to soak. I found a badge. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> okay, I just picked up something that I thought was possibly the end of a fork and I was casually rubbing it and I think it's actually something really exciting. And then I was gonna call mum over before I probably looked at it and now I've just looked under and that looks like it's bone. Um, <laughs> is that what I think? It okay. <laughs> I need mum before I look at any of these because these, these can be two really amazing finds. A badge. <laughs> will be overshadowed by yours. Well, no, I think I... Okay. Oh, your hands look cold. But, okay, so this looks to be a bone acorn. <gasps> is that what that is to you? Ooh, yeah. Could be like the end of a yeah, knitting of, needle yeah. or something. But it's bone and yeah. it doesn't have a, yeah. But That's it looks a bit beautiful. Like an and then this. What's that? Is it's that like a, a little cast? It's with like a laurel, a laurel around it. Side. Wow. Okay. I just got to need to. What? Yeah. what is it? Why is it so thin? I don't know. A badge? Like another badge? It puts my badge to shame. Ooh! <laughs> oh, but that could be exciting. Hopefully. Wow. I found a coin too. I found a coin earlier, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, what? I can see things underneath it now. I've got my... I think I can... I'm terrible. For... I know it's not, but in my head, when I first picked it up and saw that it... When I realised it was that and it was that thing, I was like, pilgrim badge. But it's... <laughs> it's, it's, it's old. old. <laughs> Mine might be a brooch. Can I see flowers on it? Goodness, it's got a, it's a building. Wow, that's uh, bone. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a bone, bone acorn. acorn. Oh wow, we're doing so well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. It's this apology for taking stealing the cat's face. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, so I've never been to this bit. I, you normally, I normally, we, with the, when we come with tides, normally we can't get to this bit. Yeah. It's like a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just look then. Let's look. So for shared stories this week, we have this piece of porcelain, porcelain, and it is French. And the story of this shirt starts in 1818, when two Swiss brothers, Jean-Louis Richard and Charles Pilevy, 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 by a brick factory in the small town of. Oh, <laughs> Fossi. There's so many French Fossi. words in this one. Fossi in the Sancer region. Or Sancerre. Or Sancerre region. <laughs> and instead of making bricks, however, they plan to make porcelain for the common household. They used the family name, calling the company Pilevy, after a difficult start, but only a few years later, they win their first design award in New York. Then skip to 1854, when Charles Pilevy, the CP from the CP and Co on our piece of pottery, uh, he ventured out on his own and builds a new factory in the nearby town in the nearby town of Mjern Suyev. <laughs> Wait, stop! <laughs> Ooh, I'm trying. Mjern <laughs> Stop it, that's good! That's how it sounds! We're just going to have to have all of the French words written underneath because I'm sure we're butchering it. Mjern <laughs> Sorry! Um, his business then, and that is what where our piece of pottery is from. It says Muon underneath. Um, the business flourishes, he wins lots of awards and medals at exhibits throughout the world, and the company's reputation grows internationally 
and soon Pilavi becomes the choice of many royal households for porcelain. In 1870, Pilavi has made great strides in improving efficiency with steam engines. The company grows to a workforce of 800 and an expanding facility. And then in the new century, Pilavi continues to embrace new technology and modernizes from wood to coal to gas fuel. And distribution makes its way into the Americas. And we know that our piece of pottery is pre-1918 because it says CP and Co. A few mien porcelain and that stamp was only used until 1918 when the company changed their method from firing from wood to coal. So that's why we know ours is pre-1918. Pilavi is also one of the few porcelain makers to develop its own porcelain compound on site at the factory. And it's still going today and in 2018 Pilavi celebrated its 200th anniversary and it's one of the only one of only a handful of companies in the world to achieve this remarkable longevity. That's cool. Yeah. And yeah, it was sort of revolutionary in porcelain and yeah, travelled all over the world, clearly, because we found ours in the southeast of England. Uh, yeah, since 1818. I don't, it didn't, doesn't say anywhere what happened to Jean Louis. No. Oh. His brother. I don't know why he ventured out on his own. But they had a fight. Probably. Never mix business with family. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Apparently the first Pilou V store opened in Paris in 1847. So Jean-Louis Richard Pilou V, born 27th September 1774, which was a Tuesday. Oh, a Tuesday. <laughs> and then he died... 7th of January 1841 on, on a Thursday. Thursday. Why do they tell you what day? That's weird. And it was 1854 that Charles Pilavi ventured out on his own. So oh, he did it because his brother died. died. And then Charles Louis Maximilian France. That's a lot of names, wow. by the way. <laughs> Charles Louis Maximilian Francis. Francois. Francois Pilavi. Yeah. Born 28th of March 1810, deceased 20th of November 1872, age 62. And he was married to Elizabeth Morgue. Morgue, yeah. Well, and she lived till 1902. Oh. He was born in the same year, 1810. And they had five children. Lu Louis, Louis, presumably named after his brother. Mm. Lu is it Louis or Louis? Louis. It's Louis. <laughs> Um, Helene, Eugene, Gustav, and Marcel. All good French All names. All very good French names. And Marcel lived till 1957. Hmm. So, yeah, we can properly shared stories, a whole family yeah. of history with this one, which we've not, we've not had yet. It's always been places, but this was a whole family history. And French. Yeah. And yeah, it was some of the stuff they made was simple but beautiful. Lots really of white, lovely. all white porcelain. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was two thousand and five. They started. They made some new glazes and stuff. But yeah, yeah, there is, and yeah, it's very famous porcelain. It didn't take. I've never much. heard of them. <laughs> no, but it didn't take very much. I just typed in C P and Co. A few, and instantly it was like here. It's a 200 year old history. porcelain factory in France. <laughs> and it's been in Mahon mm -hmm. the entire time. The entire time. 200 years, the factory's still in the same place that he See, that it. doesn't happen. No. Ever. No. So, yeah, there were shared stories. Hope you enjoyed. Well, that was a little. Well quite a long trip really <laughs> split up into two again this is the first part of treasure beach um it was fun wasn't it mm. you were very happy with the things you found yes <laughs> except Which, one find that i was well, yes, sad all, about. yeah again it's really weird how these finds that connect to last week's film's yeah. finds that's mm -hmm. not easy to say but yeah that is kind of strange one of them is still broken but one of them is complete so, what was your favourite find that wasn't broken? Well, out of my finds, 
weirdly, <laughs> I think it's probably my um, bone acorn shape. Love a bone thing. Yeah, and a bone acorn has been on my bucket list, but I was thinking more the one people find on the Thames. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, it's the end of something. It's the end of something, and I'm saying it's an acorn. It looks like an it acorn. It looks acorn shaped, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe on a stand hope or knitting needles or. Or like this. the end of a needle case, maybe? Yeah, Something yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Some, yeah. But it's bone and it's Has not. Has it got a thread inside? Or is it. Possibly? No. No, no thread. No, not that I can no. see, really. But it is bone and it's not a disc or a ring. No. We have found a few bones. Yeah. Oddments. Mm hmm. But that's a shape. Yeah. And it's an acorn shape. And I do absolutely adore acorns. So I found that tiny, tiny little mushroom shape once. You did. Yeah. Tiny we use as a darning mushroom yeah. in the doll's house. So, yeah. Strangely, I think that's my favourite find. Because <laughs> I've not found anything like it. And no, you were very looks. excited. I was very excited. <laughs> it's an acorn. <laughs> because you found the other thing when you found it too. Yes. Which is cool. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, it's, bless it. It's been in better states, I imagine. But I think this is the three-towered Gibraltar castle. And obviously the laurel here. And this probably said Taverna. And I think it is a cat badge. Maybe Northamptonshire cat badge. No, it's obviously been incredibly warm, but I just, I love it. It's so delicate, and it's a little castle. It is beautiful. Yeah. We'll go in our badge collection. Yes. Which I don't find many of, it's mainly you. Yeah. Although the brooch that I found this time, it, it broke. Yeah. It, that's the trouble with metals you find by, mm -hmm. or by the water. <laughs> that's like all our coins, that none of them are really... Yeah. It's not like the Thames, it's not anaerobic there, no, is it? No, it doesn't protect the It doesn't vines. protect anything, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just have to amend. <laughs> Kate forgot her true favourite thing. The, the, the best find. <laughs> she didn't actually put it on the, the table, so... So the actual best find of the day, I think, was um, this. My stud. And oh my goodness, <laughs> this has absolutely baffled us because amazingly on the inside unfortunately you can't disconnect this bit but on the inside here first of all it's really decorative it's got like leaves on either side of the thing like a flower design wow. where it connects um, and it's full it is full of hallmarks underneath and the first hallmark um, the, is the maker's stamp which is an L and A and of course that's, there's probably quite a few L and A's, but luckily it then has, this is quite exciting. I don't think we've ever had, we have hallmarks we with like a company name before. No, maybe not. I think we've only had like nine carat. Hmm. So it's very exciting. Uh, luckily it has the, it has the S assay office mark. Assay, yeah. And this one has a, has an anchor so it is from Birmingham, not London. It's crazy. Which is unusual. And it also has a date letter with the shape around it. And the date letter with the shape around it is is an O with a sort of cut off corner square. And that is from in Birmingham is from eighteen sixty three to eighteen sixty four. So we can date this to exactly basically that year <laughs> that's cool <laughs> which is very cool so then looking at Birmingham 1863 to 1864 L and A jewelry makers we came up with Lawrence and Allen and Allen although it's not actually that's not a very Victorian name <laughs> well I didn't think it was hmm one person says Lawrence and Alle Allen but you think it's actually Lawrence and All Day. Right. I was going to say I'm Alan. <laughs> Maybe it's a second name, not as a first name. 
from 1852 Lawrence and All Day Jewellers, 8 Mott Street. 1855 Lawrence and All Day Goldsmiths, Jewellers and Manufacturers of Lockets, Brooches, Pins, Signet and Ladies Rings, Studs, which is what this is, Sleeve Links, oh, and Sleeve Links, 8 Mott Street. And then 1858 to 1862 Lawrence and All Day Goldsmiths and Jewellers. 1868 Lawrence and All Day Jewellers. 1872 to 1878. Um, then it became All Day, Jewel All Day John Jeweller, 8 Warstone Lane. So I guess Lawrence either left the company or passed. So that all fits with the date of this. So this oh. is a Lawrence and All Day stud from Birmingham, 1863. All pretty easy to figure out, exciting. I was on a roll. <laughs> but then there's the last. Oh dear. Sonny wants to <laughs> listen to. <laughs> but then there's the last hallmark. Which is the confusing one, which is, it's got a 15 in a little box, and then next to that little box, it has a dot six two five. Which, if you Google that hallmark anywhere on the internet, it's only a hallmark for 15 karat gold. I thought 625 was silver then. 625 is not considered solid silver oh well. that's like the 925 oh. is silver 65 sometimes people do put to do with silver but that's not it's not solid and people don't consider it actual silver and they okay. say if you buy it it's a um a scam but never with a 15 in front of it that's only for gold but this is clearly not gold is it no looks very silver. And then I thought, me and Mum both separately were like white gold, but apparently that wasn't really a thing until the 1920s. Platinum? 1909. Platinum hallmarks are completely different. Mm. And annoyingly, it doesn't have one of those. They also have, annoyingly, it doesn't have any traditional mark. So for gold, there's a crown. Silver, there's a lion. Sterling silver. Silver Britannica, there's Britannica. And platinum is like the crown jewels. And palladium is like a centurion helmet. Right. So it doesn't have one of those, so it doesn't tell us what it is. But it, it's so fancy, even on the underside, things that no one's ever going to see. It's, you know, a company that were goldsmiths and jewellers. It's got the assay mark. Like, you know, it's legitimately the real deal, proper. <laughs> but I can't figure out what... We don't know what material it is. Well, let me get the other ones because we've got two more, haven't we? Yeah. So, officially, a collection. And if this is silver, it's quite a fun collection. Yeah, all the, all the, <laughs> all the metals. So, we've got the gold one, which doesn't have a hallmark anywhere. But we've tested it and it is gold and it looked like that when it came out of the mud. Then we've got our rose gold one that says. Mm, nine carat on the top if you can see that and rose gold was used was popular in victorian times and now we've got this one which is arguably the most decorative and even on the inside is the most decorative has stan has withheld the test of time better these have and you know it's an official jewelers that we can date to the year but don't know what it made out Because look at it next to them. I know. It's not gold, is it? No. We, it must have been plated. What, plated in gold? But then I, why wouldn't you have the hallmark for silver? Silver, silver had hallmarks too. I Are they the only hallmarks inside? Yeah. Maybe it's fake. Well, uh, well it's definitely silver. Yeah. It's come up like that. Yeah, maybe they... Ha no, no one would make no. silver and make <laughs> put fake gold hallmarks on. It's, I think, the biggest mystery. I mean, we talk about mysteries a lot, but this, you know, we can date it to the year, mm. to the place. All of the other hallmarks are correct for this one thing, but then it says 15625 with the dot in front. I don't understand. I don't get it. No. Maybe someone help. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange. Yeah. They are very pretty. They're beautiful together, aren't they? Uh -huh. it's, yeah. And, yeah, they just. Um, this one's decorative too, but this one's just on another level. And it's so shiny and pretty. 
But now we have a pair that can act, they're actually usable. You could actually put them on your... Mine you can't. No. <laughs> Mine was fair. Mine was more common. It didn't have a, a precious metal underneath, it, so it's rotted mm -hmm. away. <laughs> we even I even used a jeweler's loop. <laughs> it's a mystery. I don't understand. But it's it's so beautiful inside. It's so unnecessarily decorative on the inside, where no one's ever going to see. It's going to be a really struggle. I'm gonna really struggle to show you. I'll have to try with my phone. It's the best piece of, like, jewellery, precious metal we've ever found. I just... I don't understand it. No. No, I'm quite confused. It's definitely silver. Yeah. Well... Or some sort of white... Oh, but look, can you look at that it. bit on the back? Yeah, there's a little bit of gold there, isn't there? Maybe it was gold-plated. Why'd you have the hallmark for gold plate? I don't it's know. Silver. Or maybe this bit's gold. And that bit's There's silver. No silver hallmarks. And not even right inside. Have you looked right inside? I've looked right. Yeah. There's yeah. The the the, the, the hallmarks are really big. They take up most of it. Which, one, which bit's the hallmark on? On the big the top of the bit at the top. Oh. <laughs> on the other <laughs> side. bit that's not gold looking. Yeah. And then we also forgot my little glass paste gem, which I didn't want to clean because then it it would just become a glass paste gem and the metal would just disappear and, and that handle or crank which is what all these marks on my hands <laughs> are I've been trying to get this off it's beautiful I'm sure I'll think of something to use it for yeah <laughs> once we got that conglomeration yeah. off so yeah, back to the other roundup <laughs> what's your favorite find uh, I think it my soldier. Oh, okay. Or oh, the other one, mm -hmm. but I'm. <sighs> hey, you don't find him complete very often. And he is a little chunky chappy. He's got his paint still, too. He does look older, doesn't he? He definitely does look older. Definitely. He's amazing. But he's the only third one we found with their complete. Stands, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So this is the new one. And then got this fella. With his stand and again paint and his gun and his hat all complete and then probably my favourite this fella who's looking up at something <laughs> nonchalantly yeah well, I found mm. all of them I think you have yes yeah. <laughs> you found all three of these but yeah he he's just so very different yeah like them a lot well it's a collection now it's three. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Although we do have a lot of soldiers. We have a lot of pieces. Yes. Like, um, found quite a few. So really upset. This one is so almost. Yeah, well we have some heads, don't yeah. we? Yeah. He's so almost complete. With, again, paint left. His kilt. Like, the detail of his boots. Yeah, it would have been incredible. Fortunately, and then... Yeah, he's carrying a non-existent gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then this guy... Again, paint, lots of paint left on him. <laughs> this <laughs> poor fella. I found that one. Again, wearing a kilt. Mm. Well, we assume a kilt. So, yeah, he is very cool. And uh, he does stand up, yeah? <gasps> yes, yes, he does! Wow, yes, he, oh, he stands up too, doesn't he? I yeah, don't he, think. The other one needs bending back very carefully. Yeah. He would stand up, but... He's a bit wavy. He's a bit... <laughs> Heat it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice to display them on a shelf. Brothers in arms. Yeah. So then, your other favourite find... Was your bucket list find. <laughs> yes, one of my bucket list finds <laughs> that last, last episode, last film, I found one and I was very excited, but it was completely illegible. <laughs> And now this time, Mum came along and found this one, which we can read what it says, and it says costumes. Which is really random. And such a strange word. I got... Oh. Costumes. It's amazing. Yeah, why, why, why? I mean, you like to think it's come from, like... A theatre. Jury Lane. Yeah. <laughs> the, you know, it's come from one of the big theatres in London, and they will have had... Yeah. 
costumes. Yeah. Costumes plural. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? And the fact that, you know, if it was like for a newspaper, they would make up the separate, you know, they wouldn't yeah. have... A, they wouldn't have a ready-made... Yeah. yeah. It must be from some thing, some place that regularly uses the costumes. the worst costumes, yeah, to print something. Mm -hmm. And big, the costumes in big... It's like a receipt or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. Invoices like, or... Um, must be something to do with the theatre. Infantry or something. Cost They're not costumes though, are they? They're uh, uh, uniforms. The theatre? Oh no, I thought you said infantry. No, as in um, an, an inventory. Oh, of inventory. Stuff, not infantry. infantry. <laughs> I know, I did, it did sound like I said infantry. Yeah, they are uniforms. I meant inventory. <laughs> <coughs> I meant inventory. Okay. Not infantry then. <laughs> So yeah, that's the idea, all the images it's conjuring up yeah. is, yeah, I'm very excited that it's the word costume. It's just such a fun word. Yeah. yeah. And I can only imagine the costumes that this is referring to were probably beautiful. Yeah. And detailed and... Yeah. Yeah, because it was... Yeah, it's like... like yeah, 1920s? 90s, early, oh, I mean, earlier, earlier, because this is, yeah. Yeah, because the, the cat badge. It's about early, before like 1910 some, some. So, yeah, yeah, we found really, really old things. Yeah. Then. So early 1900s costumes from a theatre. <sighs> it's crazy. And yeah, they, most likely most of the, these costumes... You'll have to put some examples up while we're saying... Oh, of costumes, yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, I imagine quite a lot of the costumes this is referring to Don't no longer exist. exist anymore. But yeah. What a fun word. I know. It's so exciting. And it's all there. I should try and print it. Whilst we're talking about fines and last week. Yeah. Or well, the elephant <laughs> in the room. Or the cat in the room. <sighs> I was just... When you, you could see it from the back, it was like... <sighs> Everything is there but the face. So it would look exactly like, luckily... One that I have found before. If I'd never, if I hadn't found this one before, I think I'd be significantly more <laughs> upset. But there is, this is what it would have looked like. And I found this in a place that doesn't exist anymore. We found all of our three complete ones in a place that doesn't exist anymore. So it's exciting that yeah, there's that's a that suddenly, all yeah. of a sudden, we're finding because last week I found <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> which is the uh, the butt and a bit of the tail and the feet. So we're just slowly progressing till hopefully you find a whole we one find again. a whole one. Yeah, lots of yeah, we showed them all last week. We showed them all last week, so they're still here. <laughs> two, there's two. There's one cat missing. Those yeah. on my mantelpiece in my doll's house. But you can see that the black cats are the most um, prolific. Yeah. Um, but I don't. I would. Uh, Still wouldn't have been Still sad if you'd found it complete. Yeah. Just incredibly So sad. little missing. It's, I yeah. know. It's so upsetting. <laughs> and the fact that it was sneaky and was looked like that. <sighs> but, I st like I said in the film, I'm still counting that as finding a glass charm. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you fix his face, no one will ever know. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Still very upsetting. Mm. I'm talking about beautiful glass. Look at the iridescence on this stopper. Ooh. So rainbow. It was hidden. Wow. Yeah, it was. It cut. It looks very sharp. Yeah. It's cut. I'd say glass, it was cut. It? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't see any seams. Yeah. But yeah, beautiful. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. You can see the iridescence. And I'm sure we have a bottle that it will go in. It's a lovely big one. Like I said, it's really long. It's mm. a miracle it's not been smashed. And then... Don't find many coloured stoppers. No. Did we, have we, we found, found a blue one? You've, you've fa we found two blue ones. Oh, I found the tiny blue we one. We found a tiny blue one with the moon on and I found that blue cut one. So we found two blue ones. We have got a green one, another green one. We've, We've got, got one shaped like a flower. Oh, shamrock. I, oh, uh, oh, yeah. We've got, I've got shamrock green stopper. Two seconds. <laughs> so this is the new 
it just looks like sweets. It looks like a gummy sweet. <laughs> and then we've got um, this one, which is very similar, but a different shape. Such beautiful colours. And then we've got this big, beautiful green one that Mum found in a field. A field. It's crazy. And then the last green one being the shamrock, which is, I think, my favourite green stopper. Mm. My favourite stopper I've ever found, actually. Beautiful green. So there are the green ones. Then two blue ones. My funky. That's shape coated one. though, isn't it? It's yeah, it's clear inside. You can see. What's it called? Flash glass? I, oh, I'm not sure. I think it's a bit too thick for flash glass, the, lay the coating. Not sure. And then Mum's. Sounds Lanui. Tiny. That's possibly tiny, my favourite yeah. one I've ever found. Tiny blue stopper with a moon on. So, yeah, they're two amazing blue ones. We've got two. Um, mag. Manganese. Mang manganese? Yeah. Yeah. Two manganese, as you can see next to a clear one. These uh, ones that have been it's the sun. dyed purple by the sun. The effect mm -hmm. of chemicals in the bottle. Which is amazing. And then brown ones. Although are these, would you say these are green? green? These are green. Olive. Olive. These are obviously, these are the classic glass bottle stock, but these are the much rarer coloured versions. And these are two olive green ones. And you can get these in all colours, can't you? Mm. We've only ever nice find... to find a blue one. Yeah. I only ever find olive green. Yeah, so that's a thing why we always pick up really dirty ones. Just in Just case. Just in case, because you can't tell. Some no. of them, you don't know always until you pick them up if they're covered in mud and then suddenly you're like, oh, uh -huh. that's a different colour. And then brown, we've got one like the green one from this film. Um, a round one, which is a bit more amber beautiful colour, this one's a lot darker and then a brown apothecary dripper stopper which has a little thing here so when you span it it released just the right amount of usually anaesthesia chloroform and that such thing so yeah they are all gonna need your help <laughs> <laughs> our coloured stoppers and now we get to add <laughs> a new one. It's always exciting when we find these because we really don't find very much no, at all. Well, no, I mean that's three years worth. Four years of, of mudlarking. Yeah. Now you just take them off again. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to put them all back in bottles. Mm -hmm. Beautiful big yellow glass bead. My gla my beads from this trip are just mixed in with the beads from. Next week, next film because not necessarily next week's film, but next film because it's yeah, there was a lot. <laughs> um, I don't think it's a marble now. No, I think it's probably from a roller roller perfume, like a. It's not quite round enough to be from a roller thing. Really, it's not perfectly round, so it wouldn't roll. Yeah. Oh, I don't know then. No, it's a bit too big to be a marble for our doll's house. Isn't mm. it? Yeah. I don't know, you always find random balls. Balls of glass, <laughs> mm -hmm. balls of china, balls of... Clay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, a Reeves watercolour paint pan. Ooh. Has it got colour in it? Um, just maybe slightly. Or it's like a glaze. It's almost got like glass at the bottom. Or like a ceramic glaze at the bottom. Grazing, crackling. Huh? Oh. Talking about crazing. <laughs> it's my mushroom. <laughs> I really, really like this. <laughs> it's just a knob, but it's the colours on it and the crazing are beautiful. Loads of blues and greens and some yellows. It's stunning. It almost looks like a planet. 
but then actually it goes into white and it looks like a mushroom. Is it broken or is it actually like... I don't know. It's very, very perfectly smoothed it off. It might have gone into a metal, a metal one. Yeah. yeah. And so... It's, it's just a mushroom. A mushroom. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm really excited about it. I don't know. It just sits, little things like that. That's one of my yeah. favourite finds. Yeah, it's weird, and It's isn't just it? a knob, but it's a mushroom and the colours are beautiful. Really Another like pencil it. sharpener. Another pencil sharpener. The other one's there. The, Do you one's want the, there. Other, one? the other one's a bit more in better, better condition. Come on, pencil sharpener, come out of the tiny thing. There we go. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not something that, like I said, I don't ever didn't ever really consider finding them. But... Okay, you found two. It's yeah. always the way. Mm -hmm. Pencil sharpeners. You need to find like, then... an ornamental pencil mm. sharpener. And then you think about, you know all the pencils that yeah. sharpened it and what they what they drew, what they wrote. It's just, yeah, it's very cool. Mundane, everyday finds that have stood to the test of time. Yeah, it's very cool. So the coins, we've got um, two Georges. You can read George and see his profile, but unfortunately the bit where the date is, is the one bit that's <sighs> not there. No, not the date. The date's not there, but also the bit at the end of George. I can't see George the what. And his profile is just a yeah. bit too messed up. But it's a George. <laughs> it's probably a sixpence. And I think that one, you can just see George's outline too. And they are the same size, so I'd say they're probably both sixpences. And then this one. Goodness. Looks to be a man as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think, unfortunately, they're all just... A bit too, too warm, far gone. Yeah. It's really difficult metal at this piece, especially because these are not not um, not coins that aren't that old. So they're all you know they don't stand up as well as say old when coins, they were yeah. actual like silver and stuff. Um, and then my anchor button, which do clean up well. Well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the shank stayed, which I was I was surprised about. But yeah, so we'll go in our button collection. I think we've got a couple of anchors, don't we? Mm. And some lids. Uh, this, unfortunately, I think it may have said cognac <laughs> at the bottom, but I, it did have a picture on it, but it's just a bit too far gone, which is always sad, but you never know, so you've just got to... What was the lid? Oh, um, shaving foam, shaving yeah. cream, <laughs> Barbasol shaving cream. So that was part one of our trip. Apologies for it being such a long episode. <laughs> <laughs> Very long. <laughs> and yeah, I think next week will be part two. Sorry how long this film took to come out as well. We had real issues with sound yes. on our laptop. Mm -hmm. We'd be trying to figure it out. Yes, it's been... yes. yes we apologise for that. So thank you as always for all of our wonderful comments, all of our wonderful subscribers, our Patreons, anyone that donates via other ways, and of course just everyone that watches our films. We really appreciate it. We really do. And we've noticed a couple of comments asking to see our dolls' houses, and we do have a, another channel, link down below, that's just entirely dolls' house yes. content. <laughs> so and if dolls. You, if you want to see the dolls' houses, then there's a link down below. Hope you have a good rest of the week and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.